everyone, you are welcome to Prospect Channel TV. Here we give you updates of things happening around you and the world as a whole. I want to appreciate everyone who have subscribed to this channel. And if you have not, please kindly do so. I would like you to press the red button and also press the bell icon. This is where you get notification whenever I upload a video. And please note that your like and your comments shared is very, very important to this. Thank you very much for coming out here. God bless you all. Now to the news in detail. Count me out of Emir Sanusi's detriment, Buhari. President Muhammadu Buhari has denied having anything to do with the detriment of Kano Emir Muhammadu Sanusi II. The senior special assistant to President on Media and Publicity, Gaba Shew, stated this on Wednesday on his Twitter handle. Former Kano governor, Kwan Kwaso, had accused Bowari of ordering the detriment and banishment of Sanusi to Nasarawa State on Monday. Remember that earlier today, Mr. Kwan Kwasu, who appointed Mr. Sanusi II as the fourth Emir of Kano in 2014, told BBC Aosa on Wednesday that Kano state government officials has been saying they were directed to dethrone Mr. Sanusi II. He said he worry instructed them he alleged that, contrary to claims that Mr. Buhari had intervened in the Kano Emirate crisis, we believe here in Kano that he, Buhari, interferes where he, he wishes or when he wishes. The former governor also said President Buhari does not interfere when his intervention is needed, but interferes on issues he is supposed to be natural or neutral about. Mr. Kwan Kwasu described the removal of Sanusi as a sad incident to Kano, Nigeria. Hadden that the Emir Sanusi is a global citizen According to him, no responsible government will dethrone Mr. Sanusi. The former governor also dismissed the allegation that he queried Mr. Sanusi twice during his tenure. Well, this is becoming more tough and interesting. You know, Nigerian, uh, this Nigerian uh, government, uh, APC government is just like a uh, their story is just like a fairy tale story, you know. Kano state government have denied not having hand in Sanusi detriment. Now, President Muhammadu Buhari have denied it too. Then who is responsible for it? Who is responsible? That is the question. If President Muhammadu Buhari said he have no hand in it, the Kano state government said that they have no hand on it. Then who is responsible? Who ha ordered the detriment of uh, Sanusi II as the emir of Kano? So if it is sometimes when you hear what these people say or when you see what they do, it's, it's just like ch uh, childish uh, uh, stuff. You understand? Anyway, before I continue, let's uh, uh, look into uh, people's reactions, okay? Uh, one Adamu Sane saying, uh, whatever the case may be, Sanusi is a man of God. He accepted his faith with faith. Kano and the North suffered a great uh, loss, okay? Then... Uh, Another one is saying here, it is well 
Now, no sabi. All we want is good governances. The torment is within the Emirates and Council, not Nigeria matter. Okay. None of the Yoruba and Igbo kings are respected by the government in Nigeria. So, I don't know why Emir Sanusu consigns everybody from the southern, western, and the eastern part of Nigeria. Our people are not sensitive. Okay? It is strictly not an affair. All right. Okay, that is what that person have to say. Then another one I have here said, you can say that to idiots that believe you are senseless lies. Now today, you know, that's ash. Then one chance, Okon said, that is not true. Why you always support Ganji Day? Actions, good or bad. Okay, another person is saying here, you are the number one suspect in the wickedness because if you want to stop it, you can stop the guard dollar. All right. Then uh, Kelly Hopman said, hmm, the body language of Mr. President gives a contact view. Hemia Sanusu steps on Mr. President Tools and that of other leaders from the north. The governor of Kano cannot just on his own dethrone the Emir without support from the president. Yes, it is not possible. So I don't understand why the, the presidency saying that they have no hand on it. They know nothing about it. It's not possible for just the uh, Kano state government to dethrone a whole emir without the knowledge of presidency. So it's somehow trickish and it's like a child, um, a foul play, yeah. Okay? So he said the presidency should stop fooling itself because Nigerians know that the order for the emir to be dethroned the throne, sorry, came from Mr. President. It is so painful that Sanusi allowed himself to be used by the opposition pair to 2015 election. And now that he turned a new lips by standing for truth and telling the truth at all times, no matter how bitter the truth may be, this really hurts the powers that be. He made it clear that the problems in the north is caused by the leaders from the north. It's a pity that Emir Sanusi was used and dumped by APC. Wow. You know, this uh, using and dumping uh, by APC uh, government is like, uh, it has become uh, very glaring to everyone. If you look at the case of... Uh, the former national chairman of APC, Adam Soshomole, uh, that is how he's, he was used to. And right now, he's, he has been dumped because those people he ever trust, trusted, every one of them have uh, dumped him. Okay? So that is it. If, is, is, if you use yourself to be used... If you leave yourself to be used, it's your own funeral. So when the problem comes, you you bear it yourself because you allowed yourself to be used. That is the truth. Then another one I have here I said, I said it earlier that the white sound under a dark seal will only be visible when the sea dried up or when uh, you actually see it. Okay, I don't know what, what that means. The Sanusi saga is ironically uh, revenge by the Fulani men. He does not forgive, they does not forgive themselves, not even someone else. Forgiveness is one of the characteristics of a Fulani man. Buari is one of them. 
a good leader is supposed to have intervened before all this happened. Boari is behind this matter. Yeah, in the first place, today, uh, now this matter has been going on for a while. Uh, Boari would have actually intervened so that this will not escalate to this. We are now. So it's only God that knows what is happening. It's only God can tell who is responsible and who is not responsible. Okay. Then another one here is saying now, uh, Nigerians are no longer fools. If the president had interest in the case, he would have instructed the governor to leave Sanusi alone. Yeah, that is very correct. That is very, very correct. But because they both wanted to punish him for not supporting APC during election, that is why they humiliated him. Meanwhile, is a big lesson for our traditional rulers not to uh, be in, in two parties or whatever. Again, I see the punishment to be too killing. Okay. Then uh, one uh, Tina Chineke said he is not on, I don't know what does that suppose, he's not on church. Okay. Then I'm taking another one. This is from. Uh, Hadulai said, but sir, you have every power to settle that dispute before reaching this level. For that as a leader, you are aware. As a leader, you are aware. Okay. Then another one is saying, they should count you off because you are not from Nigeria. You are from Sudan. All right. I don't know about that one. You know, we've had so many stories. By saying that uh, the man in Asso Rock is not the is not the person we think he is, okay? We have so many stories, but uh, up to now, uh, nobody have proved it. That is not Boari, because if uh, the House of Assemblies members really want to go deeply into this, they should be able to call this man and ask for his DNA test. So you see, that is why they said this, the, the, the country is corrupt. So that means they are aware of this. Or is anybody going to tell me that they are not, as of assembly, I've not heard about this saga saying who is in Nassau Rock is not uh, President Buhari. At the other time, uh, Oshomole is saying he's going to expose who is in Nassau Rock. Danjuma, you know, th th those kind of stuff. So it's only God that we eventually, you know, uh, decide what is going to happen in this country. Because the way things are going, it's only God can save us. All right. Then another person here is saying, uh, Emir of Kano represent the strength. That is why the color of the emirate is the same as that of the God uh, guys that guide the president. No governor can dispose the emir without support of the president. You see, everybody's saying the same thing, that the president should be aware of this. Okay? So, and president is saying it's not aware. So, we don't know which one to take. So, hello guys, what's your take on this? Kindly leave your comment in the comment box below. And I beg you, please don't go without subscribing. Don't go without dropping your comments.